Welcome everyone. I'm Richard Tonietti, the Artistic Director of the Australian Chamber Orchestra, and I also play the violin. I'm sitting here in the Nielsen, which is our very own performance venue, and this is where we make music. And we feel very lucky to do this at our beautiful new home in Walsh Bay in Sydney on the land of the Gadigal people of the Aurora Nation. They've been making music and telling stories and fishing and cooking on this land for thousands of years. And I'm about to read a book for you, How to Catch a Star by Oliver Jeffers. Once there was a boy and the boy loved stars very much. Every night the boy watched the stars from his window and wished he had one of his very own. He dreamed how this star might be his friend they would play hide and go seek and take long walks together. The boy decided he would try to catch a star. He thought that getting up early in the morning would be best because then the star would be tired from being up in the sky all night. So the next day he set out at sunrise, but he could not see a star anywhere. He sat down and waited for one to appear. He waited and he waited and he ate lunch and waited. And after dinner, he waited some more. Finally, just before the sun was about to go away, he saw a star. The boy tried to jump up and grab it, but he could not jump high enough. So very carefully, he climbed to the top of the tallest tree he could find, but the star was still way out of reach. He thought he might lasso the star with a life belt from his father's boat but it was much too heavy for him to carry. He thought he could fly up in his spaceship and just grab the star, but his spaceship had run out of petrol last Tuesday when he flew to the moon. Perhaps he could get a seagull to take him to fly into the sky to reach his star, but the only seagull he could find didn't want to help at all. Wah, 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 it said. The boy thought he would never catch a star, just then he noticed something floating in the water. It was the prettiest star he had ever seen, just a baby star. It must have fallen from the sky. He tried to fish the star out with his hands, but he couldn't reach it. Then he had an idea. The star might wash up on the shore. He ran back along the jetty to the beach. Then he waited and he walked and watched and waited. And sure enough, the star washed up on the bright golden sand. The boy had caught a star, a star of his very own. And that's the end. Thank you for joining me and happy star hunting.